Okay, in the lab we did in class, we had go cars rolling down a ramp, and we took in data, and we plotted a graph where time was on the x-axis, measured in seconds, and we had position on the vertical axis, measured in centimeters. And as you guys plotted your data, you ended up seeing a curve to the data that was an up curve like that. And we talked a little bit about what that meant. And the term tangent came up. And so we kind of drew um, some tangent lines, some lines that were tangent to the curve. And so just to kind of recap, if I were to draw a line that was tangent to the curve, maybe in this area, it might look like this. And so that line is a straight line that is tangent to this point on the curve. And what does that mean? Well, that tells us what the slope is of the curve at this point. Well, why do we care? Well, if you remember correctly, the slope of a position versus time graph tells us velocity. So remember, velocity is the slope of a position time graph. And so if that's the case, how steep the curve is at this point will tell us what the velocity is, how fast and in what direction it's going at this point. And so we see here we have a positive slope that slope is upward, so we have a positive slope. Uh, it's not very steep necessarily, and that would be about how fast uh, we would get for uh, the object at that point. Now, what if we move to another point, say, up here on the curve, or even up in here? So if I draw a tangent to the curve here, let's see what that looks like. Not all that great, but you get the idea, I hope. Right about there, I'll move it. Well, that's good enough there. So, what does that say for us? Well, that tells us what the slope is of the curve right in this area here. You know, maybe I should go back and draw some dots. So the first one tells us what our slope is at about this place on the curve. This tangent shows us about what the slope is here at this point. And again, if you'll notice now and compare the two, at the first point, that is a kind of a shallow slope, not very steep. Still a positive slope because it's sloped up, but it's not very steep. If you move up on the curve here, a little bit later in time, again later in time, and it's traveled further at this point, at that point, this slope here of this tangent to the curve is a whole lot steeper than this one. What does that mean? Well, again, we have to go back to velocity. The slope of the position time graph is velocity. And if we have a slope now that is steeper later on in the curve, then that steeper slope tells us we have a larger velocity. And again, if this were trend were to continue here, if we were to take maybe another point up here and draw a tangent to the curve, you would notice it would be even steeper. If we were to have a tangent to the curve up at this place, it would be even steeper than this one. Which tells us again that as this object's position increased, as time increased here, the slope of this curve is getting steeper, which means the velocity is getting larger. So that's one of the things we can tell then from a position time graph that has a curve on it, no longer a straight line. Now the next question we might ask is, what would a velocity time graph look like for this kind of motion? So the kind of motion where you have a curved position time 
where the slope is not constant, and again, by slope of a position time, we really mean velocity. So if your slope is not constant, that means your velocity is not constant. And so in this case, again, it's getting steeper as it goes, which means the velocity is increasing. Now, what would that look like as, say, a velocity time graph, which again, we've had in class. We have velocity here, time on the t-axis here. And what would that look like? Well, if you notice down here, that's a pretty level start. And by level, I mean not very much slope. That's not very steep. And that would mean a velocity near zero, because that's about zero slope if we were to draw a tangent maybe at this area. So zero slope here, we see. Up here, very steep slope. And if we were to draw a tangent up here, it would be an even steeper slope. And so that means, if you can think in terms of your velocity time graph, at time zero, we are at about a zero velocity. Sometime later in time, we have a larger positive velocity. And still, sometime later, we have an even larger positive velocity. And so what happens if we connect these dots? We see then a velocity time graph where there is a slope. It is a positive slope, meaning the velocity value is going up as our time increases, which is exactly what we see on this graph here. The slope of this curve is increasing. It is getting steeper. And if the slope of this graph is velocity, then that means our velocity is getting bigger as time goes on. Again, larger velocities as time increases. So that's the way we can make a connection between a position time graph and a velocity time graph. Okay, so next, once we have a position time graph, again like we had for the car rolling down the ramp, curving up, increasing slope. We have a velocity time graph where the velocity values are increasing. Now what would a motion map look like for this motion? So again, for a motion map, we always have a zero position marked, the positive direction noted, and we see then on the position time graph, the object actually starts at zero position, at the origin. And I apologize for not having this scaled with actual numbers and intervaled here on the scales, or on the axes, but uh, you get the idea. This is a zero position, which means on our motion map, our object starts with a zero position. So that is where our object is first located, at position zero. Now, sometime later, it is away from the zero position, and it is moving indeed. But we do see then, as we talked earlier, as this slope is increasing, that means our velocity is increasing, just as we've drawn here. And if velocity gets bigger as time goes on, then how do we indicate that with a motion map? Well, we indicate that with arrows. And so it starts slow, with a very short arrow. And as it gets faster and faster, we show longer and longer arrows, indicating again that the velocity is increasing. So every moment in time, this object is moving faster because the slope is getting steeper. And we indicated that on our velocity time graph, where the velocity values are increasing as the time increases. We do the same for our motion map the length of the arrows indicating how fast it is, the point of the arrows indicating that it is in the positive direction. This is a positive slope. This is a positive slope. So this object then is moving in the positive direction. Last question is, what direction is our acceleration? And how you find what direction the acceleration is you look at the velocity time graph and you look at what kind of slope this is. So, slope of the V versus T graph 
shows acceleration, direction. So, what kind of slope do we have here? That's a positive slope. So therefore, our acceleration is in the positive direction. So that's how we can make connections between the position time graph, the velocity time graph, and a motion map indicating the acceleration direction.